Now wait, before you thumbs down this video, at least give me a little bit to explain myself. Doctor Who, great. Sherlock, great. Put them together? I don't know if that would actually even work. Yeah, some of the fan-made trailers look amazing, and some of the fanfic that I've even read, yes, I read a little bit of fanfic. That that was actually really good. But Moffat has said on multiple occasions that a Doctor Who Sherlock crossover just isn't going to happen. He said that Sherlock Holmes's story depended on time travel being impossible, and because Sherlock cannot live in a universe where there are Daleks and all sorts of other things, it's really hard to believe that Sherlock would be a close personal friend of the Doctor. Moffat said that the Sherlock series is grounded in reality. Mostly. And all of you about to type, well what about All Consuming Fire? Well that was a novel, it's spin-off media, it's open to interpretation to the canon. And Moffat does not speak that language. I mean of course, the Doctor could fall out of the sky and show Sherlock all the wonders of the universe and be like, oh hey look, all this stuff that you thought was impossible is actually possible. But then that would rewrite almost everything. When you look at the Doctor and Sherlock, both are intuitive, strong-willed, and alien. Yes, even Sherlock is alien as he is completely out of sync with most of his environment. It would actually end up more like the next Doctor from the Tenet special. The only way you could really root for Jackson Lake's doctor is once you take him from that strong-willed character and you make him subservient to the actual doctor. Can you see either the doctor or Sherlock being subservient to the other one? No, it just it just wouldn't work, not with today's Who. Moffat has gone on record saying that Sherlock to him is like Doctor Who at a later hour. He's taken the best parts of the doctor and added it to this classic Sherlock to give us this wonderful modern day character. I mean really, what better of a crossover could you want? When you have eliminated the impossible, whatever remains, no matter how improbable, must be the truth. That statement by Holmes has no meaning in Doctor Who where literally anything is possible. Liking two different things, no matter how brilliant they are, is not really a good reason to put them together in canon. I say, no crossover. Revel in the brilliance of both of the men. But what about having Cumberbatch be the regeneration of the master? Andrew Scott's performance in Moriarty was superb. He had the right amount of crazy charisma and brains that was completely fitting of the master. Or have Cumberbatch play Arthur Conan Doyle. That would be brilliant. Or have Cumberbatch play some detective that they stumble across in 1800s London. But his name isn't Sherlock. Sherlock. Every now and then some allusion to Sherlock would pop up, but Cumberbatch's detective character would say something about that hack Doyle who's writing about some detective. And I know I said that the Doctor and Sherlock meeting wouldn't work for a story arc or anything, but uh, what about children in need? Or comic relief? Eh? Eh? Moffat? I know you're watching. So are you still upset that two great BBC characters aren't going to amalgamate for a television show? I'm trying to aggrandize my vocabulary. Let me know in the comments, what kind of crossovers would you guys want to see, Sherlock or other? A bunch of you asked me to talk about the new Doctor Who companion, but I'm not going to. Instead, my friend Amanda already made a video. Come here. You are short. I am too short. I need to stand on my tiptoes. You are so <laughs> short. Tell them that you made a video. Thousands of people are going to watch you. Oh, that's way more. This is what all your training was for. <laughs> this is why you put me through boot camp. Oh god. Um, in my video I went over the good and the bad fandom reactions. Positive and negative. The positive and negative. <laughs> <laughs> in my video I went over the pros and the cons that I saw from fandom's reactions to Jenna Louise Coleman. You can find all the information down below. Thanks guys. Alright, that's enough. Ah, uh, you're mean. I'm mean. Bye.